Hey guys, um, so in this um, 3D printing tutorial, um, we're going to look at a math connection here. So sometimes you might hear your teachers talk about area, perimeter, and volume. And so those are like um, not just random things, those are actually real world connections that you can um, use when you're um, working with 3D printing, okay? And so what we have here is I've just drug out that box, okay? So I can move it around, manipulate it. And so first, let's look at perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around the shape, okay? So I'm going to click off that. So now I'm going to click on. And now, remember, if you click on those white, white dimension squares, you can see how long each side is. So you can see this one side is 51 centimeters long. The other side is 53 centimeters. And we know that it's a rectangle. So the opposite side should be 51. Let's check that. Um, not that one. There it is. There's a 51. And the other side should be 53 to match. And there you go. So if you added up 51 plus 51 plus 53 plus 53, you would get... 1 plus 51 plus 53 plus 53, you would get 208 centimeters. And so that would be your your perimeter all the way around. So remember, perimeter is the distance all the way around your shape. Um, we also, you might hear your teacher talk about area. And so area is trying to find that base level of your shape. So I, mine is 3D right here, but um, in this area, we'll, we would use the dimensions um, length times width. And so you can see I have them um, marked up here. Um, one of them is 51 centimeters, and the other is 53. So I would actually multiply my length times width, which was 51 times 53, and that would actually give me 2,703 um, centimeters squared. And so that means 2,703 of those centimeter cubes would be able to fit on that base level of that, um, of that shape, okay? And then the last one is volume, and that's what we're using right now. We are using three dimensions. Um, we need length, width, and height. And so you can see we've got a 53 dimension right there. We've got a 51 dimension there. And then what we're missing now is our height. And so if you click in the middle, you can see that up and down arrow. We've got a 20 centimeter there. So what we need to do is we need to take our length times our width times our height. So what we're going to do is we'll take our 51 times our 53. And I think it was times 20 that height, right? Yep. Times 20. And that is actually going to equal 54,060 centimeters cubed. And that means I could, I could actually fit 54,060 tiny centimeter cubes in this whole box. And so, um, so volume is that length times width times height. And so remember that, guys. Um, when we're doing some 3D printing, they have some real-world math connections with your area, perimeter, and your volume, okay?